What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video. And in today's video, we are going to be finishing our the motor, our rotary engine for our Mazda RX-7. And then we're also going to be taking it out and testing it, seeing how it does. And then if we have a little bit of time left over at the end, we're going to get started on this old Corvette is what I think it is. I mean, I think it was the Bolt Reptilia. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And this is the Supercharged version. That's really, really cool. So... If we have time at the end, we'll do that. But right now, what we got, we got is the, we got the Mazda RX-7. If you guys didn't see any of the other videos, you gotta go check them out. I'll put the card up here. Hopefully, you guys remember to click that. Um, go back, check them out. Um, see this color that we did? It's this chameleon blue that leads into purple. It's got a black stripe up the middle. Um, goes all the way over the side. It's got little side door ones, and then it cups off right here at the end. Um, right now, before I do anything else, though, I am going to add front license plates because we don't have front license plates on this thing yet now i'm gonna do custom ones actually ooh, ah, oh, oh. Mm, hold on hold on we go to the inventory and let me sell all of our junk because custom license plates are super expensive so i don't think i'm gonna be able to afford them let me just go through and sell everything real quick There we go. Wow, that was actually that was quite a bit of stuff. I didn't realize I have a lot of stuff left over from uh, the V8 overhead D, which was the Charger car. All right, well, I'll show you what we got right now. Forty-one thousand dollars, eighty-nine percent gold body condition, mainly because we got to put those license plates on. Let me get this on really quick. All right, I decided we're gonna do regulars, some regular Iowa ones, cheap, nice, and it'll keep us not illegal on the roads. All right. Uh, front license plate, good. VV8 UVT43, something like that. that. was a long one. What the heck? VV84 U43, yep. Alright, so now we're going to get working on the rotary engine here. Uh, if I go through and check this really quick, it doesn't look like we saved too much. Uh, we saved some stuff. Alright, so, so from what I saw, let's start on the front half of this. So we're going to need the sprocket, and we're also going to need the crankshaft counterweights. Since this thing is way different than our normal uh, V8 or inlines, it was. I'm just going to type in rotary, and then find it from here, because honestly, this is basically the page we're going to have to be referring to a lot anyways. So there we go. We got that, and our sprocket. I should have bought, I can probably buy all the belts and everything, because we're probably going to need those too. Alright, water pump, save that. This is a weird looking water pump, let me just say that. Uh, we need idler roller B. Managed to save alternator, that's nice. Uh, fuel rail, still got him. Fuel filter, gonna need a new one of those. Alright, so we need a fuel filter. Uh, idler roller B. And a timing chain. All right, let's remember that fuel filter. Buy this. We'll buy these. All right, so we'll go buy the fuel filter, and then we need roller B for this. All right, there we go. Stop I the roller B on. Timing chain. Timing cover. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh wow, those spark plugs look huge on the side here. What the heck? All right, we'll have to remember to buy four spark plugs. And then we need both of our arms. All right, so pick up our spark plugs. Still can't wait for the tuning DLC to come out. Hopefully it'll be out here soon. I think it's a free one, they said, that'll allow us to do everything that we want to do, like all the improvements, spark plug, um, like improves horsepower. Basically, everything just improves horsepower, and I'm so excited for that. I can't remember what exactly they said it was. It was like really weird in the way that they said it was coming out. So I'm not quite sure yet. But I can guarantee you the second they release that thing, I'm going to be going in and supercharging or turbo, or hopefully turboing if they have turbos. 
Because I like turbos a lot better. The sound of a turbo is way, way, way more appealing to me than a supercharger. Because superchargers are more of a high-pitched uh, squeal or whine. And, um... Okay, hold on. Let me go buy this really quick. And the turbo is like a... Like, oh, it's so much better. Uh... Was that a throttle I needed? Ignition coil. Aha! Where's the ignition coil? There it is. Ignition coil, and then we need a roller. Another. Wait, what did I need a roller? Yeah, a roller B and a timing. Or not a timing, a uh, crankshaft. Which one do they want? The V8 one? Alright. There you go. But yeah, I like turbos a lot better. Turbos, it's a lot. Uh, if you guys don't know, there's between a turbo and a supercharger. Um, they're both both forced air induction, but the turbocharger takes uh, a little while to spool up, whereas the superchargers are just on a uh, belt-driven pulley that just cranks the uh, turbines faster, and that's how that one works. And it just it ends up just spooling up a lot quicker, but it usually doesn't have as much boost as the other ones. Did I need two roller A's? Dang, I did. All right. See, yeah, it just depends upon like what people are looking for between superchargers or turbos. I'm over turbo person. Turbos are tend to also be a little bit harder. Uh, I thought I only bought two spark plugs there. I was like, oh crap. Yeah, but turbos tend to be a little bit harder. I uh, don't really know why they're always harder. Just more parts, I'm pretty sure. All right, throttle. Yes, I was about to buy a throttle too, so I'm happy I didn't buy one because we already had one. Right, fuel filter, pop that bad boy in. Ignition wires, we need ignition wires. And we need oil filter. So let's check in a rotary A. Let's look for some ignition wires. And let's just change this to rot. Or rot. Rotary engine. Alright, we'll pop this sucker in. Oil filter, ignition wires. Ignition wires. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. So we still need air filters. Need to go grab our battery. Oh wow, we'll get we saved the radiator. Found, okay, so I need radiator fan housing B. That's all I need. Yeah, just radiator fan housing B, because it's gotta fit two more fans inside of it. And then the battery is sitting over on the battery tender right now. It's being uh like healed or repaired. I don't know what you want to call it. Alright, air filter base. All right, we'll just buy the f we'll just buy the full thing because odds are we didn't save all of that. I hope though we have the clips because we don't have the clips. I'd hate I hate buying clips. I hate it so much because it's so pointless. There's one. Or it's not that they're pointless. They're just a pain in the butt. Cause they're super small and uh, yeah, there's not too great. All right, two of these. I hope that was bees. Yes, they were bees. Ooh, can I put that part on? Nope. All right. So that appears to be almost it. Okay, let's go grab the battery, and then we'll jack. We'll get the battery in, and we'll jack it back up. All right. Take the battery, and then we'll. So we'll jack the car back up. Uh, put together the uh, drive line and transmission. Oh no, the battery's over here. What am I thinking? There we go. All right, now it's the value. 50,000, that's not that much actually. The engine is not that expensive. Oh, look at that, that shows you a nice little side view of it. Or is that side, that's the top view of it. Nice little top view of it. All right, let's close it. Or oh, oh, put it up there. I was, I was gonna close it, but then I thought, I don't think we have any oil in it yet. I know we don't have any oil in it yet. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of these wheels. I really, I'm digging the wheels right now. I really, really like the wheels and really like the color. Alright, so let's get a pan put on this sucker. Alright, rotary A. So let's look for the oil pan. See, I'm not sure how, I'm not quite sure how like the oil pans on rotaries work. I really have no idea. So that's a, a one for me that I have no clue about. So I think I'm gonna need to buy the full exhaust for this car. So, I think there's only one part that's specifically a rotary piece of exhaust. Crap, we gotta screw this into. 
All right, flywheel. All right, let's buy ourselves a full transmission. All right, clutch release bearing, clutch pressure plate, clutch plate. Then we need the flywheel. Keep that sucker turning. And get it. So the flywheel is what also acts as like your starter. Or it it helps start the motor. That's what it does. Not does not the starter. What am I thinking? All right, there we go. Nice little pattern. Clutch release bearing. Gearbox. Oh dang, we gotta buy a new one. All right. Oh crap. All right, let's see the price of this. Oh god, that's so expensive. Sixteen hundred dollars, sixteen fifty for this. Holy crap! That is by far the most expensive one. You could buy some cars in this game. Like you could buy a really beat up junkyard car for less than that. Oh my god, that is so expensive. That's just dumb expensive. Right, let's get our starter in this. Okay. Gotta remember to put oil in it. Don't forget to put oil in it. Come on, Zach. Don't forget to put oil in it. Alright, get the drive line in. Oh, and we need fuel in it. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, fuel tank. No fuel tank. I think I might have a leftover fuel pump right now. So I'll just I'll come back and buy one if I need it. <laughs> nope. Alright, so we need a rear muffler, exhaust pipe, and a cat, I think. Yeah. Do exhaust. Just a plain exhaust pipe. And then we need a cat. And then we need a V8 muffler. Yes. Boom. Bam. It's got a little sticker on top of the fuel tank right there. Oh, we need a middle muffler too. Dang it. I didn't see the middle muffler. So we can scroll over to that. There we go. Got a lot of converters. All right. Drop it back down. Put some oil in it. And then let's pray to God it starts. All right. There we go. Uh, oil fill plug? Yep. Ooh, that's a little... A little janky, it's kind of stuck inside the throttle. But whatever. Alright, 14 bucks. That's some pretty good priced oil, actually. Alright, what else was I. Did I, need, did I need to do anything else? Let's close the lid. Okay, we need to move it and we need to do the interior. Garage entrance. Is both my other garage entrances taken up. Oh, no, I only have two garage. I was like, wait, what the heck? All right, so interior. Let's tear this sucker apart. Is there even a bench seat? Look, look at these seats. That is not an actual seat. Nobody, nobody can fit in that. Hmm. Let's go to inventory. So, RX... Oh, okay. The seats are in great freaking condition. What? Oh. Dude, the seats are in such good condition, but I can't use them right now. Here, let me try something. Maybe you can... Maybe this heals the seats. I've never tried this before. I know it's a thing. Okay. Or does this just, like, clean the carpets? Where's our interior detailing kit? There it is. All right, move A. Should probably move it over to uh, B when we're done, anyways. All right, use. Okay, and then it bumps everything up to 100. And now let's stop for a second. Let's let's disassemble. Let's pull the seat out. Okay, and then let's get out of this view. Interior. Ah, but the Mazda seat's still at 84. What? So, let me see if I add the seat in, if the condition is still at what it says. Okay, so we know the seats are damaged. 
Yep. Okay, so you gotta we gotta repair the seats completely. We gotta take them out and buy all new. That's such a shame too. These look great. All right. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Home, interior. Let's do RX seven. Uh, come on, type. All right, there's this. One, two, three. All right. Interior assemble. Put the bench in the back. Front seat, front seat, steering wheel. All right, take a step back. Check the status 100, 100, 100. Engine value. It's got a nice little horsepower. Shoots up real quick, actually. 291 horsepower. That's not bad. All right, sit down. Let's see if she starts. Oh, it purrs to life instantly. Okay, yeah, that's good. All right, we're gonna go drive this bad boy. We're gonna go to the abandoned airport. All right, we're at the airport. Oh, that's just a weird camera view. There we go. So here it is. The Mazda RX-7 in all of its glory so far. Um, just check it out. Let's uh, let's get to ripping it. Oh dang, that thing. So this thing like straight up red lines. Let's see how fast we can get it going. See if we can beat the, the Challenger, I think that's what it was. Oh, this thing is so fast. Okay. Oh, this thing is actually really, really fast. Let's see if it can do donuts, though. Oh, it can do donuts. I repeat. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Oh, my gosh. Dude, look at that. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, 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 oh. oh, man, that's so good. This is, okay, this is probably, this is tied for my favorite build so far. This or the, uh, the Challenger, because I just love the Challenger. It's such a good body style, but this is, this car is so unique. Brakes need a little work. No, this thing is fantastic. I love this. This thing is really, really nice. I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh, I won't be. I can't sell this. I've tried so long to find an RX-7 in this game now, and I found one, and I built it, and it's perfect in every single way, minus not being supercharged or turboed. But it's amazing. It's worth sixty-eight thousand dollars, so a little bit on the lower end, a little bit of a cheaper car. But it's absolutely perfect in every way so far, guys. This is amazing. I hope you guys I, I hope you guys love this car as much as I do. But next, you know, we're gonna be hopping over here to this classic V8 supercharged. Um, it's like a, it's basically an old Corvette. I don't know exactly what year um, and or model it is. I feel like it's the model right after the Stingray. It's got these front headlights that look like that. But I don't I'm not sure right now. I'm not 100 percent sure. So guys, I think we're just going to save this guy, this supercharged one, for a next episode. We'll, we'll probably, the next episode, we'll do all the exterior and, um, actually, no, we'll do all the motor first. And this one, we'll do all the motor and the suspension first, and then we'll do, make it look pretty. I'll do a reverse of what I usually do, because that's the nice way. You, you build up everything that's bad, and then you finish with it looking perfect with the exterior, which is the way I think I'm going to do it. But anyways, guys, if you like this video... If you like the Mazda RX-7, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed yet. And I'll see everybody in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.